Hi guys, it's Ray. Uh, don't mind my hands. I've been hydro dipping myself. Um, I see I got a little of my easy marbles on here too. Um, this is a beach cut that I painted and did the white on and kind of scorched my white a little bit. Um, I am going to be starting another one of these soon here. So, um, because I don't have a video for this to this point because um, this cup's been chilling on my crap shelf. So I'm going to go ahead and use my white spray paint and do the power wash method on this to give it some wave action. Some more wave action that's maybe white. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my power wash on. I don't really want a ton of spray paint. It's been completely not windy all day until I start this part. Go figure. So, I'm gonna... I feel like that's gonna be too much paint still. Oh, the wind is still out there. It's blowing soap bubbles in my mouth. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get my white spray paint on. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a rinse. Perfect. There. So now it's just got some freshened out the white waves. That was all I was going for, so I will figure out some kind of decal at some point here and get it decaled and get another coat of resin on it and it should be good. I'll be back. So this one is just getting finished off with a beachy decal. It's got an offset in turquoise and it just says let the ocean set you free. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get that on there quick. I don't love the way this area looks, so I'm going to cover quite a bit of that. So, I'm basically going to fold this a little bit. And this cup still isn't as smooth as it could be, so I may get some bubbles and wrinkles. The actual bubbles, I'm just going to do the pop method. And I'm going to let this sit a little bit before it gets epoxy anyways, so some more of these will work out on their own. But you can just poke them with your weeding tool, a small hole, or any kind of a needle. And rub those air bubbles out. And then my top layer. I decided to use a gold to kind of mimic the sand for the text part. And hopefully that's positioned well. I'm 
Now, this was a pre-made, um, the, like, the Ocean Set You Free part was in design space. I made it all one color and then created the offset for it. So, that is nice that you now have the option of doing that. I could have done the offset a little bit smaller, but, again, this was like that oops cup to begin with. So, I'm okay with the size of it. Um, but... That's that. All that's left is to get a coat of epoxy on it. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle in this one. Just a little something, something. So I'm going to break off some resin from my big cup. And I'm going to go with the It's Pretty Personal cheat called Mistress this time. I'm just going to put a couple shakes, just a little bit in, and get that mixed up. I think this one's a bit more um, rainbow than my um, girl's best friend, which leans more towards green and blue. This one's got a more rainbow holographic to it. So, every one of the cheats is a little bit different and works differently over different colors. So, but I hadn't used this one yet, I don't think, so I wanted to. <laughs> Get a little more on here. Yep, this one definitely has a full rainbow color in it. It's kind of cute. Really, really micro fine rainbow. I'll bring you down in a minute to show you up close. But I like it. So, there's that. Alright, I'll bring you down for a close-up in just a little bit. Okay, so here this one is finished. See that sparkle? Full rainbow. And the decal. Let the ocean set you free. And the power wash. All in all, I think it was a good save for a cup that was headed to the strip pile anyways. I am pretty happy with it.